level one to me, high water, and this is kind of the first, well, maybe the second video you might see about this. But I have a Wednesday night FIFA League that I'm really excited to get underway. It's coming up in only two days, and I, I'm hoping this video's actually come out on the Monday when I record it. Um, I'm actually recording it before my stream, it's about half seven now, so I'll be streaming in about half an hour for uh, TCRL, but you've probably already seen that. Um, but I wanted to go through what my team is currently because me and my other manager, um, because obviously I run the league myself, I can't really make all the games as I'm doing the tables, the results, the fixtures, that sort of stuff, I'm getting the stats down. So me and my crew manager, me and my other manager have both taken the same team, we're doing all the same transfers, but and I'm going to play the home, ga home games, my co-manager will play the away games and cup games for me. But this is my squad that I will show you now. So we are Barcelona. So starting off with uh, a few sales, we, we sold Anella. Uh, he was just a young, semi-five rated sentiment, sentiment fielder who just simply but didn't fit into my plans. And my co-manager agreed, you know, we didn't want him, we didn't need him. But anyway, here's how our starting ever lines up. We've got to stay in goal. You know, he's a solid choice, and actually I want to put... I want to make this bench right, because it annoys me when they're not. There we go. So yes, to stay in goal, solid choice, Citizen is my backup. Then, for our three slash... well, for our three centre-backs, I've got Ntiti, PK and Lenglet. Obviously I'd love a new left centre back. However, obviously it's going to be very hard for me to you know, buy someone out there. Because we only have 3 million left to spend as well. Um, but I do have obviously a backup here being Sergio Roberto, who at this point in time can't play centre back, but I'm probably going to play him centre back if I need to sub him on. If, if Lenglet gets injured, I'll probably sub Roberto on. I, won't, I don't really want to use Murillo, in all fairness. And if no, I can always move Alba back into left back and then take off a centre back. You know, whatever. I can play a four at the back or a five or a three at the back. Then we'll move on to our wide midfielders. So, first of all, me and my career manager were like, we need a new player on the right hand side. Obviously, we have Dembele, we have Malcolm, but we needed someone to be better than Roberto. Because I play a three at the back, he plays a five at the back, uh, five, no, sorry, four at the back. So he wanted someone to be able to be on that wing uh, at the right back slot. So we went out, we spent 60 million on Joshua Kimmich. Now he is a star. I've used him a few times before, only a few, like two or three. But he is godlike in this game, in my opinion. Hopefully here he's going to work well for me, but he's going to be my right midfielder. Obviously, I can rotate him. As you probably saw on the bench, I have, again, Dembele, who's, again, a great super sub. I have Malcolm, who's currently in my reserves. That's how little he's being used. I'm willing to put him up on loan at this current point. But my co-manager wants to, again, use him for his team, so that's understandable. On the left, we have Jordi Alba. The... Uh, Fucking hell. If you lot saw my video of LK of I don't even know if that's up yet. I can't remember if I put it up or not. I don't think I did. Where I... Oh wait, no, never mind. It wasn't the game against LK of Ignore that. It was a game against someone else where... He was my best at attacking threat. He scored my goal to win me the game. Just being on that left wing. And he is a god down there. And again, we have Coutinho to back him up. Simple, easy. Then at Cam, oh, oh actually no, CDM, sorry. CDMs, Busquets and Rakitic, I mean, is there anything less solid than that? Two out-and-out -out beasts on the ball. And again, I've got Vidal on the bench here, ready to come on, if they get in, if they get injured. And then I've always got reserves and backup that Rafinha, who's again on the bench, ready to come on. At Cam, we have Arthur, really good player, I love using him. I was using Coutinho at this position, but I just didn't enjoy him at Cam. He didn't feel good enough, so... I've put on Arthur, he's played well. He's scored 
some decent goals. He's got me a few assists. So he's a top class player. And obviously we have Rafinha there as rotation. And then up top we have Leo and Louis. There's not much more to say apart from the fact that they're gods. Leo is the captain of the club. Louis just too blimmin' good. Now, that's my team. Well, that's my first 11. On the bench, obviously, as you can see, you've got Citizen, Roberto, Vidal, Rafinha, Coutinho, Dembele, and Werner. I, ju I just spent 45 million on Timo Werner because of how good he actually is. My current manager loves him, absolutely adores him, and he is going to be a real threat. He's going to come on and just shake up this whole game. Like, you look at Messi, 91 acceleration. You look at Suarez, only 83 acceleration. We get in the second half. Bang on a striker. Werner's your man. Werner's the one who's going to be able to just get there, get that goal. But yeah, that's my team. I can't wait to go play with it.